Hello and welcome to PlayStation Racer. My name is Mitchell Morgan and following the recent update there has been a new couple of races at uh, America. So America isn't finished. So in Blue Moon Bay Speedway we've got the Nissan GTR Cup and in the Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta we've got the Super Formula that need to be done. Now, if I just go up to the options, I'm just going to make sure that we are on the normal settings, which we are. If we come out of there, we go back to Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta, and we need to do the Super Formula. And I'm going to choose the Super Formula car with racing medium tyres, and the detailed settings We've got racing medium tyres, otherwise everything is all pretty much as it is. So if we enter the race, this is the Super Formula Michelin Raceway Road Atlanta, 15 laps. Let's see how we do. So we're on power level three for this one. Traction control is off. What we're going to need to do is to put into practice what we learned in Fuji recently, which is to rely on the downforce and believe in the car. Now we're on the medium tyres, so I'm hoping that some of these cars around me are on softs or mediums and that they're going to pit. The um, level three fuel should get us to the end as well. Oh, I've gone a little bit deep into there. That's not going to help. So the leader is now 18 seconds ahead, pulling away a little bit. Let's just see if we can pull that back a little bit more. Down at the fourth. That one, over that one up the hill, over the top, and that's lap one done. So through this first corner, it's six gear and flat. We just need to grab, make sure we hit the apex. Then the first, or the, it's the middle of the white lines, the one on the very top there, where we want to break. Flat all the way down here. Break into fourth on for that corner. And then the white line here, and then down into fourth again. Then down into third. No real braking reference on that one, it's a bit feel. Just end up having to feel that one. Then it's a drag all the way down to the chicane at the bottom here. We're going to break on the first white line down into fourth gear. So break down into fourth, get it turned in. And this one, don't go too wide. Careful with the power. Now I just want to stay with these cars. I don't necessarily need to be doing anything silly to overtake them. It'd be nice if we can. The big old train of cars. Got a little bit wide through there. Whoa, they're slow through there. Might have to tuck in behind Wong here. Oh! Blazon was um, taking no prisoners through there. Now again, I don't want to spin or do anything silly like that, so I'm more than happy to sit behind these cars, assuming that they're going to be pitting, and so long as that leader doesn't get too far away. Whoa! Slowed down really early into there. This is a bit of a mess. Cars everywhere right now. I want to get across. Small lift just to get up the inside there, knowing that these cars are a bit slower. 
angle was all wrong on the top there but this is all about just compensating and doing whatever we need to do as we're going through this traffic and in the fourth let's just get this calmed down a little bit now or oh, a little bit slow through there Cars right behind me. G29 steering wheel is working overtime. Brake down in the fourth. Get that turned in over that curb, over that one up the hill. Just ease the power down. So this is coming up for lap five, which is one third distance, and nobody has pitted yet. Can take that corner beautifully when there's no cars around. It's better as well in clean air. Sometimes I do that in third, sometimes I do it in fourth. Not quite sure why. It was better as well. It's always easier to follow cars. Okay, so we are 17 seconds from the leader. So we seem to be keeping that uh, slow through there. We seem to be keeping that distance that we wanted for the pit stop. So this all depends on the pit strategy now. Try and go up the inside of this one, so I've got a slight lift. Oh. Got a penalty this time. Just struggling with one at the moment, just to try and get by. Unfortunately, we're going to let him by when we serve the penalty, which is a real shame. He's got a slipstream on me, although I've got a slipstream on the guys in front. I'm going to have to tuck in behind him and do it all again. That's also not helped our strategy with regards to the pit stops. We are still within 17 though, which is good. Right, don't cut it this time, Mitchell. Oh, three, what a move. Wow. A little bit hot over the top. I think I got carried away there. Lost, forgot where I was. Gear wise. So don't take chances and don't worry about overtaking, but when they come, boy, that was nice. So we're up into 12th, we're still 17 seconds off the leader. The cars are still with us behind, although we have got clean air in front for the moment, which is good. not the cleanest of corners would have done better through there now with any luck they're going to slow down a little bit on this corner whereas I'm going to take this in sixth gear hopefully that will have got me a little bit of time over the cars behind tires are not looking too bad Fuel situation is fine. I'm going to leave this on power level three. Could probably drop it to power level two actually, but I'm quite comfortable with power level three. 
so long as this strategy works out. The trouble is, if I go up to power level two, I'm going to be going the corners quicker and deeper, and I've got to then adjust everything. And at the moment, I'm just feeling good, feeling in a bit of a rhythm. Six seconds to the car in front, 1.6 to the cars behind. Oh, bit of a slide there. Just got to be aware of these tyres now. I really want to take these to the end. Especially as we're on lap nine and nobody's pitted yet. I'm beginning to worry that this strategy is not going to work. And as these tyres are going away from me, I wanted to be slowing it down ever so slightly by now. Just lost a little bit of confidence in the tyres for the moment. One point three to the cars behind. They're actually catching a little bit. If they get my slipstream, I'm going to be in trouble. With sixteen and a half seconds to the leader, so we're still okay if if there are pit stops. But at the moment, that's a big if. Oh, there's a pit stop. Oh, and on soft tyres. Okay. So some of these runners are on softs. Is that the first indication that this strategy is going to work? Fifteen seconds to the leader now. So is that an indication that they're on soft tyres and their tyres are going off? Because they've been 17 seconds to me all the way through this race. I was slow out of that one. Not catching Lopez in front right now. Come on, let's get a few more people pit. Lap 10 out of 15. If we can get a few more people pitting, that will put my mind at ease a little bit more. Especially as I am just adjusting my driving style a little bit as these tyres are becoming warm, worn even. Hopefully they're red hot. Curb there. Hopefully we got away with that. Yeah, this car is starting to slide around quite a bit now. So I'm just going to adjust things slightly. Just be careful with the turn-ins and how the power is being applied. I'm just going a little bit deep into that corner now where I need to break a little bit earlier because uh, we've definitely not got the performance in the tyres right now. We're still 15 seconds behind the leader, so that's fine, assuming that they are going to need to stop. The big question is, am I going to need to stop with these tyres? I really want to bring this home. Oh, good, two more pitting all mediums and softs, so we've got a mix of tyres. Beginning to wonder whether I should have gone with hard tyres. Up into eighth place now. 13 behind the leader. Is he going to need to stop? Twelve of fifteen. Cars in front are going really long into this race if they're going to stop. They're not going to stop. 
this race strategy is not going to work out. There's another one pitting. Oh, might get a corner cut for that one. The car is really sliding around now. That was better. So 11, 12 seconds to the leader. If the leaders need to pit, we'll be okay. However, we are on lap 13 or 15, they're going to the end. This is not going to work out. I think we might need to rethink this strategy. And as I say that, the leaders are pitting. How many of them came in? Let's not worry about that for the moment. Let's just get this around this corner. Wow, plenty of hard tyres in there. Surprised they've actually needed to pit. Lots more pit action going on, but I can't look. I think we've still got one more car to do. Myazono, but he's six seconds down the road. I don't think I can make up six seconds. It's too much. Hmm, so near, yet so far. We're going to wind up being the best of the rest. Maybe I shouldn't have backed off quite so much. Oh, he's pitting! He's pitting! The strategy's worked! Yes! All we've got to do now is bring this home. I'm going to need to concentrate. I don't need to go mental. We're out in front. Why are you pushing so hard, Mitchell? Come on, slow it down, mate. You don't need to be pushing this hard. It's going ever so dark. Just slow it down, bring it home. Eight seconds ahead. Tires are looking fine, fuel's looking fine, everything's looking good. We've got the straight, we've got the chicane. Come on, come on. Bring it home. Come on, come on. What a car. What a strategy. What a race. And there it is. First place. Whoa! Oh man. 6.7 seconds ahead in the end. Wow. Well, that certainly gets your adrenaline going. Had a couple of offs there, so uh, no clean race, which is a bit of a shame. But there you go, guys. That is how to get first place and gold in this particular race, which is one of the new ones following yesterday's upgrade. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a thumbs up. If you're new around here, please hit that subscribe button. It would be greatly appreciated. And if you are one of my regulars, thank you ever so much for supporting the channel. It's very much appreciated. Oh, for now, I will see you on another video coming very soon. For now, take care. Bye-bye.